Let us solve this open box optimization problem. So we have here a thin piece of cardboard, 10 inches by 10 inches, and square corners are cut out so that the sides can be folded up to make a box. So we want to find the dimensions that will yield a box of maximum volume. And we want also to find the maximum volume. So what's the first step? In solving this problem the first step is to find the objective function and write it in terms of a single variable and what is our objective function it's the function that we want to maximize and that is the volume of the box so we need to write the volume of the box in terms of a single variable when solving optimization problem, it is helpful to draw a picture of the problem because that might help us in writing down our objective function in terms of a single variable. So here we have a thin piece of cardboard and we want to cut out squares at the corners. And after cutting out the squares, we fold this part here to make a box, something that looks like this. So keep in mind that this box has a square base. And what is the length and width of this box? So if we cut out a square of length x, then this will be x, this is x. And since this is a 10 by 10 cardboard, so therefore the length of this one will be 10 minus these two lengths here, minus 2x. So therefore the length and the base of our box will be equal to 10 minus 2x. And what is the height? Since we just fold this section here, fold it up, so therefore the height of the box is equal to x. So what is the volume of this box? So the volume of this box is, of course, it's equal to length times width times height, which is equal to 10 minus 2x times 10 minus 2x times x. So we have written the volume as a function of a single variable x. And we can expand this one here, multiply it using FOIL method. We get this one and then times x and distribute the x and writing the product in decreasing powers of x we get 4x cubed minus 40x squared plus 100x so what is our goal we want to find the maximum value of this volume function and what is the domain that we have to consider for this function since lengths of this box must be positive then that means our x here must be greater than 0 and also this uh, 10 minus 2x must be greater than 0 and solving this uh, inequality here you'll get 10 greater than 2x and dividing both sides by 2 you'll get here x less than 5 so therefore we have x must be greater than 0 and x must be less than 5 so therefore, we want to maximize the volume function in the interval 0 to 5, excluding the endpoints 0 and 5. Let us now find the x that will maximize this volume function. For sure, that x must be a critical number of this function. So to find the critical number, we have to compute for the derivative. So v prime of x here is equal to the derivative of this is 12x squared. Derivative of this one is equal to 80x. And derivative of 100x is equal to 100. And we can easily find the critical numbers if we factor out this expression. So we factor out the GCF4 and we'll get here 3x squared minus 20x plus 25. And factoring this trinomial, we get 3x minus 5 times x minus 5. Since this derivative always exists, we can only get the critical numbers by equating this expression to 0. 
and the derivative is equal to zero when this factor is equal to zero so that is when x equals five thirds and when this factor is equal to zero that is when x equals five but since we are considering the function only on the open interval zero to five then we ignore this critical number five thus x equals 5 over 3 is the only critical number of the function v in the open interval 0, 5. Now, let's apply second derivative test to determine whether this critical number gives us a maximum or minimum or neither. So, we compute for the second derivative of v and we can easily find this using this expression here so when you compute the derivative of this you'll get here 24x minus 80 which implies that the value of the derivative at this critical number 5 over 3 is equal to 24 times 5 over 3 is actually equal to 40 minus 80 so that is negative 40 which is less than 0 Therefore, we have a maximum at this critical number 5 over 3. And we conclude that the volume is maximum when the length of the square's cutoff, which is equal to x, is 5 over 3 inches. So, what is our answer to the questions? So our answer to question number one is that we have a box with maximum volume if the dimensions of the box are length and width are both equal to 10 minus 2x so our x is equal to 5 thirds so that is equal to 20 over 3 inches and the height which is equal to x is equal to 5 over 3 inches and for question number two which asks for the maximum volume of the box so the maximum volume of the box is the value of v when x is equal to 5 thirds so when the height is equal to 5 thirds, which is equal to length times width times height, that is equal to 2000 over 27, which is approximately equal to 74.07 cubic inches.